Hello and welcome back to No Man's Land for episode 89 of our survival let's play. Um, today, 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 we have got some stuff to sell first. Because I know it's sort of top month for a couple of, uh, couple of our products. So we're going to go up and get them. Um, but first I need this. Oh, I hope that's not in the way. I should be able to get that out of there, shouldn't I? Yeah, and get that out of there. Cool. Right, let's... Right, cows are going to need feeding as well. Oh, I hadn't noticed... Oh, slurry's topped up, by the way. Um, I hadn't noticed... We've produced some milk. We've got over 6,000 litres of milk. Um, totally missed that. So, we're now in a position, and we're going to be soon in a stronger one as well, because we'll have the ability to create sugar. Uh, but we're now in a position to start making butter. And when you look at um, things that we can produce at the minute that are going to get us a decent amount of money, cakes is one of them things and now we that we can get butter um, I would pick these up and throw them in but I can't pick them up they're too heavy now that we can get butter we have got the flour we've got the ability to get strawberries um, we only need the sugar, I think. I think that's all we're missing now. But we've got that sugar coming. With our um, sugar being nearly done. I know this takes. This can take a while doing this. Leave that there a second. Um, here's our sunflowers. We need to get a weeder in here. Yeah, we'll have to get these weeded. And these sunflowers are ready to go. I wonder if we... Um... There it is. Uh, I couldn't find our mill in the morning, morning haze. Is that still um, producing or not? I think we're pretty much done now and we might get one more out. Gonna get one more out? Cause it's only 200 nod. There it is. Right, now we're done. So, 4,000 litres. Yeah, so, um, we need to get a waiter in there. We've got them sunflowers to go. Our sugar beet. Where are we at with that? That's no, nah, it's still nowhere near really. We've still probably got another few months for that. Um The other thing after the maple syrup is Oh, the sunflower oil. That's what we need to sell next. So let's go and get this maple syrup sold. Yeah, there's only one place for that. It is literally at its top whack as well. We ain't getting much better than this. I mean, we don't produce much maple syrup. Um, it is effectively, apart from we paid the 16 grand outlay of it, it is effectively sort of free money in the sense that we don't pay for anything. It's just, it's now just water that we have to give it. But it's not a big pay. Especially on the economy that we're on now. Um, yeah, you're not going to make loads of money off maple syrup. But it just, it's constantly ticking over, isn't it? Which is never a bad thing. Right, so 5,792 from that. The 
furniture and the planks we've got another couple of months to wait for them get that opened up we'll get our sunflowers put in here our sunflower oil sorry this is the first lot of this we've sold I think isn't it We'll have a look, see what bread we've produced as well. And what price we can get for bread. Because again, if the price is still decent, it's dropped, hasn't it? But, I mean, it's going to continue to drop. So if there is any bread produced, which I'm hoping there's at least one. Do we have one? No, we don't have one yet. Um, Not far away, like. Let's not walk into walls there. Eh? Right. 7,000 litres of sunflower oil. Where's that going? That same both places. So we'll just go to the closest one here. And so what's this going to be? Just over 14 grand. Fourteen thousand two hundred ninety-six. I do not mind that at all. Oh, the other thing that I was going to say as well. It looks like we're actually, even though we still pay the interest every day. Um, so every month we still pay in six sixteen thousand and sixty-six. It looks like we're now making money for the. Um, because we're direct selling certain products on we like our drinks and stuff so instead of our money ma sort of massively decreasing every um every night we seem seem to uh, be making it which is a nice place to be silage is right up at the minute as well we've got nearly 600,000 litres there and we've got another 100,000 litres I might start getting rid of some of that silage. Right, what we'll do, we'll get this back down here um, and we will probably go and harvest our sunflowers. Right, we have the correct header, um, which if you watched a few episodes ago, isn't always the case. I still don't like this, but I don't know. I tried to smooth it off, didn't I? And it just... It didn't work. And I wanted a path going down there as well, a track. Right. Are we working? Yeah, we're working. So again with this, I don't need to bring um, I don't need to bring a tractor over and a trailer because we're just gonna dump it straight into um, straight into the grain mill. Which is effectively an oil mill for us now, it's not a grain mill. Our grain we take somewhere else, don't we? I know we spent big on this. Um, I mean, when I say big, it's big for us. We took a a gamble, paying thirty three grand when we didn't even have the ability to use it at the time. But this head is just immense. It really, really is.
I mean, look at that. Just the second run, and we just. It does so much in the field. There'd be an argument, and I'm not saying whether there's a right or wrong answer to this, but there'd be an, definitely an argument to say that as our farm's getting bigger, that joining this field and that field would be more sort of beneficial. Now, there's pros and cons against that. I for and against that, sorry. Um, I say, I'd say against it would be while we're running quite a small farm, but we have a lot of productions going, we need that constant sort of drip from different products. Um, so we need, and I'm just going to go up for, for this bit here because it's a bit awkward. So we need and the barley, the oats, the soybeans, the sunflowers, the canola. Um, and we've got sugar beet going as well. We need them. So we can't just sort of have, I don't know, four, four bigger fields. We need sort of six constantly producing and just rotating. But there might also be an argument for if we have those massive fields and we're producing one big load of sunflowers and then going on to... Um, I'll say if we're producing sort of three products at a time, say we're producing sunflowers massively, canola massively, barley massively, um, and then moving on to, after that, whatever the others were, oats, soybeans, um, sugar beet, for example. Is that a sort of better way of doing it? Um, oh my god, that worked, I didn't even touch that. Combine driving genius. Um, yeah, is that a is that a better way of looking at it and doing it? So I'm not sure. I mean, I'm probably eighty twenty on turning the grass field that's behind us towards the farm, the smaller grass field. I'm more in favour of turning that into an arable field because I think we'll get more out of it and I think we're already producing a lot of silage like I don't think we can get if we look at so we've still got 162,000 litres to process there and 400,000 litres to process there like we just can't process it quick enough um, So the more I think about it, the more I think, why wouldn't we turn that grass field into arable? And it's massive as well. Like, I didn't realise until I looked at the map just how big that area is. That would be our biggest field. So, in the month of February, whether that be today's in-game day or tomorrow's in-game day, I think there's... That's what we'll do. What am I driving on there? That's grass. I had a moment. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll um, we'll transform that field. I think if we can put a huge crop of canola in there, that would be massive for us. Keep our mill going, certainly. And we've still got, we've still got that strip all the way down there. That at the minute we've got nothing in. We do nothing with it. And that's very unlike us. On a, on a series like this. Like everything's been mega efficient, hasn't it? As efficient as what we can get. And we do nothing with this strip of land here. There's a good few things I need to do. As mentioned in the last episode, um the comments by Chuck Go Game and I need to look at the wood situation. Um 
now that we've got the big bag lifter we'll have a look at a cheap low loader or trailer um, because we've got all that wood there it doesn't matter if it's chopped up because it and chopped up into small pieces and chucked in the back of a wagon because that would be going in our um, in our production sites so I'm not bothered about that I need to remember that we are 88% and close to 100 um, yeah I'm not bothered about that but our massive the spruce trees aren't there we could potentially make some decent money out of that and I know what second hand equipment we've got there's nothing there for us I know I mentioned about wanting to save up and hoping that either a cotton harvester or an olive grove harvester would pop into the second hand items but I mean that's just a we could go another 88 episodes and that might never happen um, and we certainly haven't we're no, nowhere near in a position to buy one brand new I mean obviously we're close to the olive because it's um, it's a little bit <laughs> I was going to say cheaper but I think less expensive would probably be a better term and the same with grapes but we did grapes on Elm Creek didn't we and it's the olive oil I want to do really rather than the raisins or the grape juice We need to pick that flower up as well. I don't know how far we're through the original lot. I'd have to have a look. The brakes weren't good on that like There. Right. Um, we'll wait till it's emptied. At the end, I certainly wasn't going to sit and... Um, sort of record while that was empty and it, it does take a long time right let's go and get this last bit finished um, and then we've got tons to do haven't we like we've got so much to do again this field needs to turn over as well again is that not going to be no it's just not big enough it's going to be a little strip there I think um, with giants adding productions into um, FS. It, it was a massive win wasn't it? Uh, like I don't give sort of giants sort of stick about and I don't think compared to other companies I don't know if for people who sort of only have played FS and haven't really sort of I don't know maybe not have grown up on gaming or which I have I've totally grown up on gaming um, but some people who play simulator games might not have, they might only play um, FS because it's a farm sim. Um, and there is people like that, I know there is people like that, so I've spoke to, I've spoke to them online. Uh, so they haven't played the, I don't know, the massive open world RPGs or the sports games or, um, or I don't know, strategy games. Um, There's some giants, I think, are, have wins a lot more than losses, is what I'm trying to say. And they're not sort of massively, massively controversial. It's really, really nice.
to be playing a game by a company who just don't balls up all the time and Giants don't seem to do that um, which I think it's great, it's really refreshing um, like I've mentioned before I've come from the game that I played mostly before this and I mean was massive into as well hugely into it for the last probably 8 years um, where I literally my life was revolved around this game because it was a 24 hour game um, was FIFA Ultimate Team and that's what I'd play all the time weekends were based around it um, I'd spend because I work shifts uh, through days, evenings and nights um, I'd constantly have sort of the whole trading aspect going on my phone um, something I was really good at as well um, had a lot of success at it relatively speaking um, but EA is such a I don't even want to swear but it grips you new, you know what um, at some of the stuff they do like it's painful when you're on the receiving end of it sometimes just the absolute greed of that company um, and the stuff that they've done to that game just to try to extract more money out of you like, it's just a constant they just want you drip feeding them money all the time to be able to play that game effectively and it's like I said it's painful it's a, a dire situation it's awful yet you come to something like FS and I know I used the word already but it is it's like massively refreshing just to be a log on um, sit down and play like without constantly getting battered of you need to add this real world money to the game um, which by the way in FIFA I didn't I wouldn't do it wasn't something that I did because I had other ways of getting around it but them other ways of getting around it was hugely time consuming which is the point isn't it they like force down your throat you need quick wins you can only do this game by quick wins and by quick wins you need to spend money and um yeah I mean for those who haven't had that experience with other companies and I know there's other companies who do it as well uh it's so re refreshing to be playing a game with a developer who don't seem to be doing it I know I mentioned right at the beginning um, right at the beginning of FS22 when there was a few different DLCs I mean you could buy equipment couldn't you for like 79 pence or whatever and I was saying I hope that isn't going to be the norm where it hasn't been like there hasn't been loads of that has there which is great Um, I feel like jumping down off a high horse or my case, my case. I haven't got a case. It's a McCormick, um, or the McCormick, and getting on with some more jobs. So let's have a little think about what we're going to do next, and I'll come back. Right, you've probably just seen a short uh, time lapse which will give you an idea as to what we were doing um, we're gonna have to spend nearly two and a half grand on more lime just so we can finish this field off um, let's start the engine I thought you might as well crack on with it it took most of the day to be honest I know we were already sort of 20 minutes into the video anyway so it's not like it's going to be a short video but um, I didn't want to just sort of show the the whole lot if you know what I mean like it can get quite repetitive can't it and I've had to do this whole field of storm picking as well which nearly done as in absolutely brutal the ploughing I wouldn't have mind Sean um, and then obviously we've come back on the Lyman but oh my god I'm 
hoping we're going to get it all in this this one bit of line uh, one sort of container worth, sorry I'm not even bothered about getting it um, seeded in this in game day because we've got tomorrow but the majority of the work's done even if we can um, get the line finished now we're not going to are we we're going to need to go back for a little bit more get the lineman done and maybe even get some fertiliser put down as well so annoying. Right, let's go and fill up again. I mean, one of the things that doing all this field work does, I've noticed it absolutely destroys the fuel. It's the same with the uh, McCormick as well. We've used so much, and that um, the ploughing's really sort of took out, took it out of it as well. Um, took it out of the the maintenance on it. I'm not sure how maintenance works. Whether certain jobs takes more sort of pressure on on the equipment or not, but it does not seem to have dropped. And didn't we pay? Did we pay about seven grand last time? get it fixed up we need to sell all them that um them rocks as well they need to go i've lined this but i'll tell you what we are going to do we're going to put a track through there so i don't have to go all the way around that is 100 percent going to happen now we'll get this done might lose a bit of the field but um, it won't be that big a deal really oh something I noticed as well it wasn't in the last in, was it in the last episode for some reason and I'm not sure how long it's been set like that for but we had the environment um, the visual environment whatever that sort of setting is set to October I have absolutely no idea why. So that's been changed back now. Right, let's get landscape on, paint, and dirt, and get changed to that. Is that big enough? I mean, I'm not bothered about it being like, sort of perfect. In fact, I'd rather it wasn't. But I just need to make sure it's wide enough more than anything. little bit off here then I think that's better width than it and he goes that a little bit further in I think that's just going to continue
Right. Right, I'm happy with that. I'll just tidy this a little bit up here. So I think I'll go in a little bit wider this end. And then we'll take this up here. Uh, right, there we go. Happy with that. I think that looks a lot better, doesn't it? And at least we can just nip through then. I'm going to do... At some point I'm going to do one along there as well, I think. That's if we don't join the two fields on. Right, let's... Get this put back. We'll get the McCormick. We'll quickly finish the spreading on the field where we've got the sunflowers off. And then that will be time, I think. Back near. Don't even know where the McCormick is actually. Um, might be in that shed down the bottom. I think of where I was using the plow. Yeah, it's there. Tell you what, I haven't done. I'm not a hundred percent sure that our sunflowers are. Are aware. Um, no, it's not. Let's get that going. Have we got it on storing? Yes. We'll use our new track. It wasn't so bad when it was a grass field, but now that it's going to be arable, um, I won't be able to just go straight over where I saw. I think that was pretty necessary, really. Um, right. Let's get this finished. In fact, I might just... Well, I might unfold it first. That would be a good start. I might just go until the end of this actual trailer. Um, spread a full. And then end the video after that. Because it's starting to... We're starting to lose light, aren't we? February, it's already quarter past three. I don't think the spread will cover the remainder of it. Um, it might, in fact, I might be wrong. What I am going to have to look at is um, maintaining some of the equipment. Just at this point, I don't particularly want to spend... Oh my god. Oh. I can't believe that is in there and there's no way I'm going to be able to afford that. It's the big one, isn't it?
how on earth am I meant to get that? There's nothing I can sell to get that much money. I'm j I'll finish this and then we'll have a look. That's so flame and typical. I'm really surprised this this um what we had left in the spreaders finished it. Really, really surprised. Right. Let's have a look at this. Fifty nine percent off and still three hundred and thirty nine thousand. Is this the one that does round bales? It is, isn't it? It's that one there. Is it that one? What's that one? I didn't think all them... I thought some of these were only that much. I didn't realise they were all that expensive. I mean, if that had 59% off, I think we could try to make a go of it, but 339 grand. I've got nowhere near that much money. Oh, well. <laughs> it's so rubbish, isn't it? Like, why can't it have been? Where are we at? That one. If it was that one with 59% off, I think we probably could have got up to there. But it's not happening. And this is where we're going to leave it. We are 25 to 4. In a sense, it doesn't feel like I've done overly much, but we've managed to get our sunflower production going again. And we've changed one of our grass fields over to arable, although we haven't yet because we haven't... Um, we haven't seeded, but it will be, leaving us with just one big grass field. So, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one.